Hi friends, so this video today is on a trend I've been seeing on social media where you take uh, different colors of eyeshadow and you apply them in a vertical in vertical stripes across your lid and then blend them with a blending brush. So I wanted to see if this actually worked and this is pretty good, I have to say. I really, really like the way it turned out. But if you wanna see how I did it, keep watching. I start by mixing one pump of the By Terry Celly Rose Brightening CC Serum in Sunny Flash with a pea size amount of the Laura Mercier Oil Free Tinted Moisturizer in 2W2 Nude, and I mix those on the back of my hand. I love using the By Terry Celly Rose Brightening CC Serum in Sunny Flash specifically because it gives such a beautiful glow to my skin. And then with a damp beauty blender, I just work those products into my skin, making sure they're evenly blended on my face and my neck. Next, I take the Givenchy Tank Couture Eyewear Concealer and I apply it in the inner corner of my eye as well as the outer corner of my eye and I blend that in with that same damp beauty blender. I have to say I really love this concealer. It wears really well and it lasts really nicely throughout the day. So this has been a favorite of mine lately. Next I go in with the same Givenchy concealer and I apply it on the bridge of my nose, my chin and between my brows. For contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Amber and I'm using it to contour my nose and my cheekbones. Then I go back in with that same beauty blender and I blend, blend, blend all the highlight and contour to make sure it's evenly blended. For the contour on my cheekbones, I took a foundation brush and blended in that contour and I made sure to blend it into the hairline. To set my foundation concealer and contour, I use the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light and I press that gently into my skin with a powder brush. To zhuzh up the contouring on my nose, I went in with the MAC Powder Blush in shade Harmony and I applied that with a thin angled brush just to make sure I have better precision. And then of course, let's not forget to blend, blend, blend. For bronzer, I used an angled brush as well as my absolute favorite bronzer, still to this day, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer, particularly how beautifully it blends into the skin. And also, well, it smells like chocolate, so that's a win in my book. And then I took a big fluffy blending brush and I blended and blended and blended some more. For blush, I decided to use the one blush brush that actually sheds and that I need to throw away. So note to self, throw away the brush. Other than that, for the actual blush, I used the MAC Sheer Tone Blush in the shade Pinch Me. And then I went in and I blended that blush and I made sure that I'm blending it into my hairline. For this eye look, I went in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette and I took a flat eyeshadow brush and selected four colors that I wanted to use and then applied each color in a vertical stripe on my eyelid starting with the darkest color in the outer corner of my eye and then worked in to the lightest color in the inner corner of my eye.
So to blend everything out, I used a MAC blending brush and I made sure to blend in windshield wiper motions and small little circles, blending all of those eyeshadows towards the outer corner of my eye. And then as a highlight under my brow, I went into the same palette and picked up that white eyeshadow and then applied it under my brow. Then I took a clean blending brush, making sure that that white color that I just applied is nicely blended into the other colors in my crease. So this is what it looked like once I blended all of the shadows together. I think the look turned out really, really nice. The shadows blended in together beautifully and I was quite surprised and impressed that this hack actually worked. Next I decided to take this flat dense brush and pick up some of that light brown eyeshadow and apply it under my waterline. I think it really ties the look together and I just really like the way it looks. So before I apply any mascara, I always go in with an eyelash primer. And this time I decided to use the Lancome Super Enhancing Mascara Base. And I like to really get it into my lashes all the way down to the base. So I like really wiggle it back and forth and try to make sure I get as close to the eyelash base as possible and then bring it up. And I apply about two coats of this and then wait for it to dry and then go in with the mascara. And now moving on to mascara, I decided to use the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara in Excessive Black. And what I like to do with my mascara is make sure I get as close to the base of my lashes as possible and then wiggle it through my lashes just to make sure I get a nice full look. And I put about two to three coats on my lashes. For lip liner, I decided to go with the Annabelle Lip Liner in 405 Demure. I really love this color. I think it's very versatile and I just love the Annabelle pencils. One, the price point is great and also they're just very easy to use and very blendable. For lipstick, I went with the MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the color Creme Cup and I applied it on the inside of the liner and then I blended it all together with the liner. Then to just highlight my lips a little bit and brighten them, I went back in with the Givenchy concealer and I added just a small dot to my pinky finger and then I blended that into the middle of my lip and worked it into the rest of my lip uh, and into the lip liner just to get it nice and blended in. I really like the way this looks and I think it gives the lip a really nice pop of brightness. Then I went back in with the Annabelle lip liner just to clean up and finish the lip. much for watching the video i hope you guys liked it i really enjoyed making this one leave any comments questions you may have down in the section below and i will see you next time